We're here to work with them. Uh, we don't want to lose our identity. We're a PAL Quebec pub group. Montreal's Ye Old Orchard Pub has been in business for almost 30 years. And now this sign, among others, a cause for complaint. Quebec's French language watchdog, the OQLF, sent owners a letter about the lack of signage in French at their pub on Monkland in NDG. They have until May 16th to add French to their signs, including some owners say are merely decorative. The letter uh, was saying how we're non-compliant uh, as far as a few signage in the pub, like the one behind me, uh, the Guinness signs, and uh, which we feel is decorative. They felt that it was publicity. And our sign out front, they made a point to mention that it's all in English and that it's not compliant with the laws. Joe Pilot, one of the co-owners of the Ye Old Orchard Pub Group, says that it was not just Guinness signs and other promotional material in English that were raising red flags for the OQLF. When I was speaking with the agent who's on our file, there was a lot of back and forth about our name, what things we can do to fix it, how we can comply immediately and in the future. And from that agent's point of view, they felt that our name is non-compliant come 2025. When asked if the pub would have to change its name as new language laws for business signs come into effect on June 1st, 2025, Chantal Bouchard, a spokesperson for the OQLF, said in a statement to City News that at no time, including as of June 1st, 2025, will the OQLF oblige businesses to translate their business names to French. However, Bouchard stresses that as of this date, French will have to be clearly predominant on outdoor signs. We were surprised because if you go to any pub around the world, including France and other places in Quebec, you'll see these pub signs. It's decorative stuff that makes a pub a pub. Uh, and our name has been our name since 1996. So we were definitely shocked almost 30 years in to hear that our name wasn't compliant. While shocked, Pilot says they want to work with the OQLF to find a solution. We don't want to make this a contentious issue. We want to understand where they're coming from and try to make it work for both sides without losing our identity as the Old Orchard Pub. We have signs that we have taken down, but the ones that we feel are our brand have stayed up. In Montreal, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.